Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. This is part 43 of the series. Today we are going to learn about router link. When we want to navigate from one view to another in an Angular application, we can use make use of router link. It's extremely helpful, easy way to quickly add dynamic links to your application and it's pretty much standard. Uh, it's part of the router module and we'll see how to use it in today's episode. Let's get started. All right, before I get started, please continue to support uh, me by liking, commenting, sharing my videos. If you like my work, consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Following is the playlist we have created so far. It has around 43 episodes so far. And if you have missed out on um, the previous episodes, make sure that you go through them. This is part 43. Today we are learning about router link. As part of this router series, I've been covering everything that you need to know about Angular routing. Make sure that you go through each one of them in order to learn and master routing. Important thing first, Angular 17 onwards, you will not see app routing module. That's a very important breaking change because a lot of you who are coming from previous versions of Angular will get confused that there is no app routing module.ts file. Instead, we have something called app.routes.ts. That's where we add all our routes. Having said that, we can still use the router module, which is app routing for modules and lazy loading modules. All right, so today we are learning about router link. Router link is a directive that provides a way to navigate between different routes in your application. It is typically used in templates to create links that update the URL loaded with the associated component. Let's do some hands-on examples so it will be much more clear. And the reason I'm covering all this is because this concepts will be required in the next episodes when we learn about child routes, lazy loading, etc. That's why my attempt to make sure that you learn everything as, as part of this particular series. We are in the Angular 17 folder. We are building a crew management system. Go to source, go to app, and you will see app routes.ts file. That's where we add the routes in Angular 17. <coughs> as part of the previous tutorials, we created a component and we added dynamic routes as well as the normal route. We learned how to use router outlet also. Today we are going to add some router links. So to add router links, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Just it would go with the anchor tag, a tag. And then you can write router link equal to. Now this is where you'll mention the link there where you want uh, the user to go after they click on it. Think of it like the href, right? Instead of router link, we'll convert it into a href internally and will be clickable. So let's say I say crew profile is one. Now I added a link. Now let's go ahead, fire up the application, gserve. All right, so the application is up and running. Now let's go to our browser and type localhost 4200. You can see that it's not enabled. And the reason it's not enabled is because unlike Angular 16, Angular 17 wants all the modules individually in the imports. So we need to add our mo module, which is router module. So when you see that it's not showing as a link, that means your router module was not imported. So now you see it's a link. I can click it and I can click and navigate to crew profile, right? So that's what router link will help us to do, which is to set up routes links, basically linking dynamic links. Now we can add some dynamic um, thing also. If you are having something, let's say a value or something you want to add, you can also bind them that I'll show you as we progress. But for today, understand that if you want to create links inside a module, inside a component, you can use router link to create the links in the application. Pretty simple, quick uh, tutorial. I'm keeping it short so that uh, you know, you get to learn more, master them fast, right? That's all for today because in the next episode, we are going to use all of this together when we learn child routes. Very important and you should know this as part of routing. 
so thank you so much for joining in this episode join me in the next episode we will implement angular 17 child routes if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you